round two. We're back with round Hello. two. <laughs> How's it going, guys? We bring a little bit of an update. Uh, we have some of the projects that we're going to be working in the near future. We received our solar panels and our inverter and the controller for that as well. So this is the controller for the solar panels. And then this is the inverter that's going to be turning our DC power into AC power. And we have the solar panels, but they're still stashed away. So that's one of the projects that we're going to be getting into in the near future, and we'll make sure to give you guys some updates as we go through that as well. Woo! Making progress for energy independence. <laughs> one step at a time. For sure. Cool. And then I wanted to take you guys um, on a quick little tour through my little travel trailer because there's a lot of things wrong with it. So I figure I'll show you guys all the stuff that we're going to have to fix. So you understand the intensity of this journey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it is definitely a bit of a struggle in some of these aspects. There's a lot of learning involved and a lot of experimenting. So we want to share that journey with you guys. I had to put some drywall tape here and uh, cover it with spackle because there's some water damage. If you look up here. It's a little soft. Yeah, this whole little section here is cracking. It's swollen when it rains. And we've been up on the roof before, and up here there's a connecting piece on the top that's not sealed very well, and we're thinking the water is coming in from that connection. This sink has a leak, so there's water coming out of the top. And underneath, I will put a quick uh, towel there to show you guys. So we're going to turn on the water. I'm going to turn it on really quick because it's pretty bad. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow, maybe, maybe it helped to fix it a little bit. Yeah, I guess we, did, we, we did jink some stuff with it yesterday, and I guess it made a, it made a difference. Alrighty, cool. that's, well, that's one good. less problem. Look at that. Yeah, definitely <laughs> the whole panel underneath here was all flooded. I had to use like seven towels to fix it. But that's, that's good news. I'm glad that that'll be a simpler fix. There's also a spot on this side where it's been saran wrapped. So we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. And today we'll also be uh, jigsawing these holes on the floor in order to be able to put the covers for the heater back in place. The previous owner did not do that, so we'll take care of that. And mm. this is Zoa. Sina Zoa, my snake baby. <laughs> Good morning, Zoa. Okay, so then if we go into the bedroom, so this is my little bedroom space. And as you can see on the wall, there's uh, some pretty significant water damage on this side of things. Alex and I have already actually taken out both of these windows and completely took off and stripped all the caulking off and then re the windows and put them back in thinking that that would help with the water damage. But it's stormed here a bunch of times since we got here and there's still leaks happening under here. The paint's peeling in this section over here as you can see there's some discoloration underneath. And uh, if you come over here, the wall's chipping off. we got some more patches that are discolored. And if you come up along here, the wood in here is all cracking. And when it rains, it gets swollen and fills up with water. And actually, this piece came off the other day, which you can see was drywall taped so that the crack wouldn't be so bad. But obviously, the water damage is superseding that. Um, and we also have a crack in the wall over here. So there's a, there's a section over here where... Something's going on. As you can see, the water is kind of creating some some mold. So we're gonna have to fix that. Yeah. So basically, in order to fix this, what we're gonna have to do is remove all the interior uh, wallpaper and the surface layer, and peel all the stuff back out, and then we'll evaluate the wood and see if it's still usable. If it is still usable, then we can apply an epoxy resin that will help to harden it in place. If the wood is too damaged, then we will use fresh wood to reframe it and then uh, replace the insulation and finally replace the outer layer. So that's gonna be a nice little journey. We'll make sure to take you guys along with, with us on that. For sure, and then we're gonna go outside really quick because there's a couple things we're gonna talk about outside. So we're going to come around here uh, to the side of the trailer. And so as you can see over here, this is where the water connection is. 
And if you look around here, you can see all this caulking is, is pretty old. This should be like white and really well sealed. And it's just kind of, we're gonna have to take it out and redo it. And then this panel is basically a connection to under the bed where the, uh, the water filtration system is going to go. The water heater used to be. Oh, right. Normally where the water heater goes, this vent is where the water heater would be venting the propane exhaust. So we took out the whole water heater and we're going to replace that with the water filtration system as you're saying. Right, so we'll have an accessible panel to observe the water filtration from the outside and the exterior right next to where the water is. And that's going to take us some work. Additionally, this is this this is the corner on the outside where all the water damage is happening, and you can tell in here this caulking is all coming off. So water might be leaking in through here, but more than likely it's probably coming in from the roof somewhere. Uh, we went up to the top of the roof, and the, uh, the roof's not very well sealed at this point. The trailer is 20, 20 years old, so um, there's a there's a lot of decay as far as the original seals for the water tightness. So we're gonna have to reseal the whole roof. You can see the, my AC as well from here, that you, we need a vent cover for that. That AC came without a cover, and it's functioning right now, but we need to go ahead and acquire that cover for it as well. Like that one. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see that. Cool. <clears throat> well, there's a, there's a lot more like subtle issues and other tiny details that are consistently popping up. But those are some of the major uh, things that we're going to be working on within the near future. If you guys want to stay tuned to find out what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Much love. Blessings.